So, what did you find out about Genesis, Kyrie? Oh, I feel like this information is a lot for me to take in. And I don't, I don't know if I have the motivation to share it. <sighs> Typical. What do you want? Mm, well, there's nothing in this world that I can't have, Ryan. So you're just gonna have to sit there and wait for me to decide if I'm gonna tell you or not. Kyrie, I don't have time for your shit. Who are you speaking to like that? You, I'm speaking to you like that. At this time, I wish to no longer speak to you. Oh, okay, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. No. Kyrie, what did you find out? I don't like how I'm being handled right now. Watch how you handle me. Your silence is making me uncomfortable. Tell me what you know, or I'm telling mama that you're the one who turns off the video cameras. Did you just threaten me, Brian? Kyrie, stop fucking playing with me. I will tell mama about your hemorrhoids. Uh, okay. You literally got Fruity Pebbles poking out the rim of your ass. Threaten me again, bitch. You turn off the camera so mama can't see you go to her room, to her closet, and grab her wigs, then go back to your room and put them on your pillows. That is a disturbing allegation. You nasty bitch. I saw you take one of her wigs and put them on top of your pillow, and then you cut a hole at the bottom of that pillow so you can enter and then you whisper to that pillow to call you daddy brian you have an interesting imagination you know what i didn't imagine what you watching travis take a shower i wonder what mama would think about her gay son spying on her boyfriend while he takes a shower Threaten me again, nigga. You know what? This isn't about us. I need to find something on Genesis. Well, when you find something, let me know. Meanwhile, I'll save this information about Kyrie fucking his pillows and you having stepdaddy fantasies for a rainy day. Tell me. Hell no. Kyria! For the first time, somebody has me compromised. So I need all my resources to get uncompromised. You're on your own. Fuck! It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma, I don't even use condoms. Savan, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis's room. First of all, mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? And cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson, that mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. 
Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting to your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savannah, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me. Okay. Kyrie! Savant, you are too old to be having dad's weekends. So what are you doing here? It's Savon, and I was hoping I could speak to my father. Anything you have to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. You ain't my dad, Karen. Where is he at? Well, he's at work. Something you clearly have no experience in. Savon, what's going on? I haven't seen you in almost a year. I thought you said he was at work. Honey, your son's here. Dad, can I please speak to you in private? No, you cannot. You are in my establishment and you will speak in front of me. Relax. So anything you got to say to me, you can say in front of my wife. My mom kicked me out. Well, that's too bad. But don't worry, my best friend, Caitlin, owns a homeless shelter. And if you leave right now, you might be able to catch them before they fill their last bed. I'll go ahead and give her a call and let her know you're on the way. Karen, you are not putting my son in a homeless shelter. Michael, oh my God. We can't just leave him out on the street. You're right, which is exactly why he'll be staying here with us. No! I mean, we have three children and only 10 bedrooms. Where would he sleep? We have no room, honey. <sighs> I'll clean out my office. You can sleep in there. Uh, Michael, you aren't asking the right questions here. Why were you kicked out in the first place, Savant? Well, I didn't have a job at the time, and my mom said that she got tired of taking care of me, so she kicked me out so she can save some money. Well, you know, this is my house, my rules. You will be getting a job so you can provide for your son. No exceptions. Ugh, fine. You can stay in your father's office. But, Savant, be mindful of what you wear when you're coming in and out of the house. This is an all-white neighborhood. They're not used to seeing... Niagara's. What? Blacks. There are black people in this neighborhood. Yeah, that cut the grass. But none of them own a home here. My mom actually lives up the street. Her entire house actually looks like this. I don't want to see any whores in my house. I don't want to see any of your boys from the hood in my house. You will not become a bad influence on my sons. I don't want them seeing that. Noted. Also, note this. When my parents are in town... I need you to dress up like a waiter. Karen, what the hell? Now, honey, you know that you're the only colored that my parents accept. My father has a bad heart. And if he sees another colored with a do-rag, he'll have a heart attack. Son, everything's going to be okay, all right? And tomorrow, I'll go and talk to your mother. No, no. I don't want her to know where I'm at. 
Well, that's too bad. I'm going to have a conversation with her. I want to rub in her face that her son was homeless and I took him off the street. I don't think she would want to see you. So please, just leave it alone. It's fine. Um, can my son visit from time to time? Oh, yes, that's good. Your son is black. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Because we can adopt him. We can adopt him. And I can tell all my friends I adopted a black baby. From Africa. Our kids are black. Michael, this is my last time telling you that my children are biracial. They're not black. You want to not address them as such. If you cannot say they're biracial, simply tell people that they are white. Never black. How's that eye? If they fight again, I'm going to beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tamika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. Mama, can we just read the results? And you shut up, too, because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! <sighs> hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house. And don't let her ask you twice because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. Or from either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. All I bet us. Oh. Uh -huh. What is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some better. Lord Guarde. Okay. You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother. Savon, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton? And whatever the hell that is in her stomach. Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, it's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. 
You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. What are you working on? Homework. Oh, that sounds terrible. So I went to dad's house the other day. But he wasn't there. It was just Karen Savon. How'd that go? I'm pretty sure they're sleeping together. I just have to figure out a way to tell mama and throw you under the bus too. Kyrie, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you tell mama is on you. I know how to deny it. Hmm. You can deny it, but then I'll tell dad that you told mama that he was cheating on Karen. And you can't deny that because mama heard it too. What do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I need. And I need to see violence. So I'm gonna tell mama. I will literally give you anything. I'm well, sure you would, but I must warn you, Karen already paid me $5,000 to keep my mouth shut and I'm still telling mama. So if I scammed her, what makes you think I won't scam you? So let me get this straight. You let Karen pay you $5,000 just so you can keep your mouth shut? I did. I know keeping secrets from me is dangerous, so go ahead and spit it out. Mama Karen is sleeping with Savon. She also paid Kyrie $5,000 to keep his mouth shut. And I know this because Kyrie just told me. Well played. Well played. You said that Karen is sleeping with Savon? That's what Kyrie said. Does your father know? Leave it alone. Mama! Savon can't come back here. He has not apologized yet. And if I tell his father, he will be kicked out and left on the street. Mom, this is an opportunity to let Savon come back here. Hell no! Especially since he didn't slept with that snow demon. He can stay his ass right there. As for Karen, she will be handled. Oh, Mama, how will she be handled? And may I watch? You may hand me your entire freedom along with that $5,000 and get the fuck out of my face. Well played. Because that is definitely some shit I would have did to you. Bye, Kyrie! I'm gone. Mama, how are you not mad at Karen? Brian, look, I know you miss your brother, but Savan is grown and has put me through enough, okay? He clearly is trying to get back at me. And I'm not going to let him. Instead of me reacting, I am choosing not to respond. Something I have never done before. Now, had it been y'all, oh, then me and that bitch got a problem. She paid Kyrie $5,000. So now me and that bitch got a problem. And she will have to see me. But as for Savon, I am not addressing him because that's what he wants. That bitch got my ex-husband and now she got my son. And I am choosing not to react. Pat a bitch on the back. <sighs> Mika, help me find a man. I need a man. Mama, let me help you find somewhere to live. You need a house. See, not once 
did I talk to you, your sisters, or your brothers like that when y'all was growing up? I took care of y'all. The least y'all could do is let me stay with y'all when I need a place to stay. You kicked all of us out once we hit the age of 18, mama. You're only 55 years old and more than capable of living on your own. Plus, I have Brian, Kyrie, and Kendrick here. I don't have the space for you. Where's Savon at? She kicked him out. You kicked my grandbaby out? And how old is Savon? 19? But I'm the monster for kicking y'all out at 18. You ain't no different. Like mother, like daughter. Savon disrespected my house in many ways that cannot be forgiven. So did you and Tanya with my ex-husband, Earl. Hmm. And did I hear you say Kendrick was living here? Yes, and he is amazing. He helps around the house. He helps with bills. Oh, he ain't asked you to borrow money yet? No, he has his own job. He ain't opened up a credit card in your name? Why would he do that? He ain't listed your house on an Airbnb yet. What? Mika, tell that boy it's time for him to go. Mama, what do you know? Enough to warn my daughter about him. Uh, I gotta go. Mika, let me use your car. No. You know what? I'll just walk. Matter of fact, I'll call him Uber. <laughs> Sounds good to me. See, y'all don't care about me. But when I'm somewhere, I did not ask that Uber driver to take me, fighting for my virginity in the backseat of his car. Y'all don't care. Your virginity expired long before I came into this world. And you had me at 15. Can you call me an Uber driver, please? Brian, get your grandmother an Uber. Thank you. Kyrie, oh, I mean Brian, my bad. Hey cousin. Hey Brian. Hey. What was uh, Aunt Tammy doing here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I actually wanted to talk to you about a business opportunity. Okay. So, I want to open up my own business, of course, but I want to bring you on as a business partner. Not interested. Oh, um, well, okay. Well, maybe, um, well, cousin, maybe you can help me up with some of the startup money? Kendrick, all that money you got from your dad's life insurance, what happened to it? Oh, um, I, um... <laughs> Um, it, um, hold on, my phone's upstairs and I can hear it ringing. <laughs> I'll be back. Mama, his phone was in his hand. Mm -hmm. It was. So, Kendrick, you said you were in the military? Yeah, I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years. So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you don't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique.
You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh... What's your name? I think I got you pregnant. And never mind, it's not important. What's up, Mama? What's up, Mom? Is that something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host, his name is Kendrick. And, this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick, I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? You know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. <laughs> now, I do have a few house rules though. One of them is to stay out of my way or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> try locking me in one now. I want to see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. 
If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind. Where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendrick. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I- Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. And by the way, Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's going to help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon... is gone! He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Tamika, I want him arrested. Tara, I need you to take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm Tara, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm gonna ask you again, take it down a couple of notches or it will get real aggressive around here.
Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now! According to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes. Yes. Tamika, because he is a male, he should have sat there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Sarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama. What are you doing that nasty? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton, Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my... I, oh, 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 I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. Kyrie! Um, Tamika, I need a room. You need a what? Mama, why is she making such an asinine request? Little girl, why do you keep posting my son on your social media like he's yours? Are you slow? That was a question. Why are you so loud? And I am not a little girl. I am a grown woman. You're a fucking child. Keep my son off your social media or I'm going to beat your ass. Savannah, are you still messing with this hoe or something? No. Then ain't no reason my son should be around you or you around my son. Tanika, why is she even here? Because I am a new addition to the family. How? I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me for right now, but you will. Tanika, tell them what's going on. Shay, keep my grandchild off of social media. Or next time, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to run up and lay your ass out. Lace front and all. Start making safe decisions, ho. Anyways, Tamika, why haven't you told the boys about me? Girl, we know who you are and we do not care. No, I'm your new stepsister. What? <sighs> Mom didn't tell y'all? She's marrying my dad, Greg. You're Greg's daughter? Greg is your dad? I was messing with Greg's daughter? First of all, don't you ever in your fucking life call me mom. I am not your mother. Second of all, it is not your place to tell my children something that I was going to sit down and talk to them about. Oh, well, you took too long. Oh, well, it won't take me too long to knock your ass out that bar stool. And I will tell my daddy. And I'll knock his ass out too, then knock you out again in front of him. Mom, you're marrying Greg? Greg did propose. I have not given him an official answer yet. Mama, why would you marry Greg? I have not given him an official answer yet. But regardless, Mama gotta have a life too. Mama, you can have a life with a different man. Not even then. Mama, you are to remain single until Kyrie moves out of this house. 
we will discuss this matter in private. It don't need to be discussed in private. It can be discussed right now in front of me. I am about to be your stepdaughter, Tanika. You need to start treating me like it. You are number seven of the 15 spawns that Greg has running around. You ain't shit special. Now shut your ass up and be grateful I'm allowing your ass to sit there unharmed. Don't look at me like that. Mama, with all due respect. Don't say with all due respect and then turn around and say some disrespectful shit. You haven't been making the best decisions when it comes to this household. Letting Kendrick stay here, then Greg, now Shay. Neither Shay or Greg live here. Now shut up! I don't want to hear shit else about it. I told y'all I will talk to y'all about it when I'm ready. I have not made a decision yet. When I make a decision, y'all will be the first to know. What I do with my life is what I do. Y'all ain't in control of shit here. Y'all live here. Y'all ain't running shit. Greg don't live here and neither does this little girl. Tanika, you are forgetting how this works. I go where my daddy go. If he lives here, then so do I. Well, I dropped your daddy off at his little job at the gas station. Go find him. Ew, I am too cute to be seen at a gas station. Let alone be dropped off. Mira, what you gonna do? You got no job? You live with your mother? You got one kid and now my daughter's having your second? Ma'am, respectfully... No, no, Haggis! Don't say respectfully and then say something disrespectful. And what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What kind of mother lets her son walk around impregnating everything? What is your name? Marisol. Okay, Lysol. Let me explain something to you. Now, I understand that you are upset that you did not teach your daughter about birth control or plan B, but there is no guarantee that this baby is my son. Man, I, my daughter has been with your son and your son only. What are you raising? A reproductive machine? My son is 19 years old. I cannot control what he does outside of my house, just like you can't control who your daughter decides to get pregnant by. Now, you have exceeded the amount of times that you are allowed to express yourself in an aggressive manner. Tone it down. Oh, baby, you have been seen aggressive. If you or your son think you're going to have my daughter somewhere raising a newborn by herself, think again. I will end him. His first baby mama, her mama tried to put her foot down and prove a point. But the only foot that got put down was my foot on her neck. And she still has trouble turning to the left. Threaten my child again. Uh, Carmen, get this up. You brought me here to go to jail? You didn't explain to this woman that I would put my hands on her and her son? Bitch, you ain't touching nothing up in this house. You can reach out and try, but I promise you, you will end up on somebody's stretcher. Carmen, you really brought your mother to her funeral. That is crazy. Mami, who you calling a bitch? I am loco. I will rip you apart. Start ripping then. Ma, that's enough. No, hell no, Savan. Get Carmen and her mama out of my house. Right now. You have met your match, Mr. Mika. It ain't a female on this planet that can match me. I have kids to feed. That is the only reason why your ass is still attached to that chair. Mommy, let's go. You'll be seeing more of me, Mr. Mika. When my daughter has my grandchild, I'm dragging your son to court. So drag him, and we'll see how far you get. This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house, and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What do you suggest? We kill three birds with one stone. How? Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just want to get over it. Kendrick. How would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. Exactly. So what do you say? 
like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right. Um, I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right. I'll get started. And um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm still missing how Kendrick gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. Hmm. It's worth a shot. Indeed. Good thinking, Kyrie. Why are you here, Kyrie? Brian's recent behavior has made me curious as to what he has seen here at Dad's house. What did he say he saw? I never said he saw anything, Savon. Is there something that you think he saw? Curry, shut up. Your mind tricks don't work on me. Nothing happened here. Ah, so he did lie to Mama. Lied to her about what? He said that he saw Dad cheating on Karen. But from his facial expression and your facial expression, I can tell that he was lying. Okay, quick. Your dad said he got stuck in a meeting and the boys decided to stay the night at a friend's house. Oh, fuck. Uh, Kyrie! Now is not a good time. Oh, it seems like now is a good time for the both of you. I don't know what you're insinuating, but I don't like it. You two enjoy the rest of your day. No, wait, where are you going? Home. I'm going home to our beautiful mother. No, hell no, Kyrie, stay. We need to talk. Uh, Vani. Vani. Let him go. Yo, Karen, do me a favor. Shut up. Go comb your hair. Why? It's just going to get messed up again. Jesus. Savon, big brother. I pray that mama has mercy on your soul because she is going to wipe her out. What do you want? My boy, there are some things that I cannot remain silent on. There is no amount of money in the world that'll keep me quiet. $5,000 for you to keep your mouth shut. Cash at me right now. <sighs> Just like a black person. Okay, so you'll leave and say nothing, right? Oh, hell no. I'm about to go tell my mama. I'm gonna tell her that you've been sleeping with my brother and that you gave me $5,000 to join. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can ask, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Mrs. Jackson, please don't make this difficult for yourself. Mr. Brown, please don't make this difficult for you. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call security. You sure have been afraid to make a lot of decisions since we started this conversation, Mr. Brown. I need security to my office, please. <laughs> that does not scare me. Where are they at? Which way are they coming from so I can meet them halfway? Mr. Brown, is everything okay? Mrs. Jackson is having trouble accepting my decision to expel her son from the school. Ma'am, the decision is final. Right, and who are you? My name is Tamara. Tamara, okay. And which department do you work in? I'm his secretary. You're a secretary. Tamara, 
You don't get paid enough to handle a hostile parent like me. So return to your desk and remain unharmed. Excuse me? Yes, you may be excused. I'm calling security. Oh, could you? Because I have been waiting for the longest. I mean, do I even want my child at a school where it takes this long for security to get to the incident? Brown to any available security personnel. On second thoughts, this school does not seem like a safe place to have my child at. So, I'll go ahead and withdraw him. Mrs. Jackson, you cannot withdraw your son because he has been expelled from the school. Okay, we'll spell him back and then withdraw him. Travis, can I have a moment with my sister, please? No, you cannot have a moment in my house. You are just a guest who pays bills. You don't own shit. Travis, give us a moment. You need to start putting him in his place. Tara, don't come in my house telling me what to do with my man. <laughs> my man. Well, you never really had one, so try real hard not to lose this one. Like the several men you have lost to your teenage daughter. Oh my God, please stop. Both of you. So Tanya told me about Genesis. She has a right to be in her son's life. Tara, stop acting stupid. Tanya is a whore. She is not fit to be anybody's mother. Wow. Wow. Genesis is 17, Tanya. You gave him up 17 years ago. And during that time, you did not reach out to him. Now that he's borderline 18 years of age, you want to be a part of his life? Bitch, you have missed half of it. He had a mother who passed away. And I don't feel right about my older sister stepping in. I feel like it is my responsibility to step in. Tara, tell her. <laughs> I already shut you down in front of your mama. I don't know what you thought bringing your sister here was going to do. Okay, granted. Genesis is damn near grown. But what you don't know, Tamika, is that one of Gabriella's dying wishes was for him to know who his biological mother was. Oh, she didn't make that damn bullshit ass dying wish. Shut up, Tara. Yes, she did. And you need to honor it. I ain't got to honor a motherfucker. I am going to try to explain this to both you dumb, oblivious ass bitches the best way I can. I'm dumb, but I have my high school diploma, a college degree, and I'm a lawyer. You have a GED, three kids, and a nine to five. And a man who wants me and not my children. Tara, your daughter just gave birth to your granddaughter slash stepdaughter that she had with your fiance. He is not the father. Great, he still slept with her. She was lying. That is the same exact shit mama said about us with Earl. Baby, is everything all right? Can you get out, please? Don't yell at my man because you just figured out that you're a horrible mother, Tara. My man, my man. Damn, at least act like you've had one before, Tamika. But you're a mom who had to use her daughter to keep a man. Tamika, that is enough. You are hitting below the belt. And I don't think I'm hitting low enough. Genesis just lost the only mother that he knew, and he is still grieving. Do you think it's a good idea to tell him that the mother that he just lost was not his real mother? If you gave an ounce of fuck about Genesis, you would let him heal and then we can revisit this conversation at a later date. Fine. Find my ass because you now have two bridges to cross. Telling Genesis that you're his biological mother and then telling my ex-husband that he might be the biological father. We will never be the same after this conversation. Tara, you're a bad mom. Start listening to your daughter when she says that your boyfriends are sleeping with her. Oh, you ignorant bitch. I cannot stand you. Then hop over this counter and whoop my ass. an impossible task to accomplish. Get the fuck out of my house, both of you.
How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Curry, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. But it was just my imagination. Curry, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were gonna make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I help put in your house? Kendrick, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we gonna eat all the food you help put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Mom, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savon, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch, in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in you. Your me. sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live. Uh, Ma, I hate to interrupt whatever this is, but what is this? Yeah, what is this? Shay, do you live here? No, but my boyfriend... Okay, then. So shut your ass up and be seen and not heard. I don't understand why you would want to be somewhere where you are not welcomed nor wanted. Tamika, I just came to apologize to you and Savan about everything. Oh, you mean about what your brother did? I hope that you both can forgive me. Well, they don't. And Savon, why do you keep looking at her like that? Like what? Like he wants to be over here and not over there? But he is not over there. You are absolutely correct. A mutual decision that me and him both made. And in result, he went and found the easiest hoe to fuck on. Girl, I'm never easy. Me and him are actually in an exclusive relationship. An exclusive relationship that has resulted in several unwanted pregnancies and chlamydia that you have contracted and served. How do you know about that? Listen, I am not here for this. Well, I am. I've been waiting for an encounter with you. And an encounter with me is something that you cannot afford. Do not write a check that you cannot cash. Bitch, I'm rich. Let's go. You really came here because you want my man back. And to be quite honest, I can have him back by the snap of a finger. So snap it. Oops, now that I am back in the picture, I understand that you are not wanted nor welcomed here. Is that true or false? Savon! Oh, you clueless hoe. Looking to him for direction is not going to save you. What was your name again? Shy! Uh, uh, I mean, Shay! Uh, oh, poor thing. Your head must be spinning. You can't even gather your thoughts. Bitch, I will fight you! Do you know how many hoes that he has been with that have wanted to fight me, but were all unsuccessful? I ain't these other hoes. I will really fight you. Hmm. That may be true, but what would I gain from fighting a bitch who meant absolutely nothing to him? I did mean something. Probably for a good two to three minutes on your back. But even then, I know you've heard him whisper the name Jasmine a few times. You probably even heard him whisper my name while he's dreaming. Tap out whenever you're ready. Bitch, you know what? No, I don't know. I do have a question, though. What would you like your method of transportation to be? An Uber or a bus? I'm a rich bitch. I don't ride either of those. How will you be getting home, then? Savan is going to take me. I do apologize, but he is currently unavailable at this time. Please select another option. Tanika, please make her stop. Oh, dear Shay. Now that it's between you two women, I will not get involved. When you leave, then I will stop. Until then, can we discuss why your hair has no part in the middle?
Did you put the wig on backwards? <gasps> Did you decide on what your method of transportation will be?